Welcome to the 2023 Face-Off Live Final here in Horsens, Denmark. My name is Charlie Burrows. I'm a senior casting advisor at Cirque du Soleil, one of the partners of Face-Off Events. I am joined here by Helia Vammen, multiple Northern European champion in artistic gymnastics. We are super excited for what is about to happen right behind us. Tell me, how are you feeling, Helia? <laughs> well, I'm excited. The lights just went out, and um, yeah, it just adds something to uh, to the vibe in here. The show you are about to see is like none other. You are about to see fire, flips, twists. This is gymnastics, cross with a show, cross with ultimate adrenaline. I've never seen anything like it. You've never seen anything like it. Let's go. So right now, we are just about to start the opening ceremony for our live final. We're about to introduce our live hosts here in the arena. Whilst we're doing that, I'm going to tell you, this final has been really been building up all year with qualification events happening throughout the Nordic countries, Denmark, Sweden, and, and Norway, all leading up to this final championships. The energy in this arena is electric. Yeah. Don't you agree, Helga? I totally do, and uh, yeah, the heat is coming up. There is not a spare seat in the house, and everybody is waiting to see these athletes. We are starting with the individual championships. This is where we have athletes competing from seven nations all around the world, ready to show us exactly what they're made of, and what they, and what makes them the face-off champion for 2023. The whole crowd is clapping right now, building up this energy. If this doesn't hype them up, I don't know what will. Here we go. Welcome our flamethrower in an opening yeah. ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we even get to feel the, the heat from the fire now. That was quite the energetic opening for the championships for today. We're about to see the athletes that are competing in the individual competition. We are going to see, as I said, seven nations represented here from Denmark through to Iceland. Australia, Australia yeah. Azerbaijan. We've got people from all over the, all over the world. We're looking, we have athletes that are competing from different disciplines, which is what's going to be interesting about this competition is it's, we have athletes that are power tumblers, we have team gym athletes, and it's going to be like we talked about earlier, who can adapt well to these unique disciplines that we're about to see on stage. Hell yeah, how does it, how does it compare to your experiences? Well, you know, being an artistic gymnast, it's, this is something completely different. Um, I used to compete on palm the horse, high bar and stuff, and <laughs> there were some really precise measures to all these different disciplines, and you just couldn't go and uh, raise the high bar by half a meter. Um, here, everything is completely different because the disciplines, they evolve um, over the years and they make some changes. And the creativity that, that, is That way, insane. it's just impossible for the athletes to properly prepare Indeed, um, yeah. I mean, they they know what face-off is about, and they know all the disciplines that 
that have been a part of the competition before, but yeah. We are about to see the, inter the athletes coming in for the individual championships. But prior to that, as you were saying, what makes this event so different and so exciting is not only do we have that, that gymnastics element, but as you saw in the entrance, we have flamethrowers, we have all kinds of pyros. This is a show, and that's what these athletes are gonna be putting on for you at home, for our audience in here. And that is what we're excited to see today. That's really for me. Oh, here we go. We're starting with the female athletes. Amelia Campion, this is one to watch for the championships. She did so great in the qualifying championships in Denmark. Auster Christian Stotier of Iceland, the winner from last year. We have Victoria Thompson, definitely one to watch, coming from the Team Gym world. So we're going to see some really cool things coming from her. Josephine Östberg from Denmark. Also a team gym athlete. Here we've got Josephine Sterbeck. And unfortunately, the last woman on the stage is Tanya who is unfortunately injured. She suffered a minor hip injury a couple of days ago. Tanya Greve. We saw so, her warming up, didn't we? And she yeah, was trying very hard to be part but, of the event today. But unfortunately, she's looking out for her health and making sure that she uh, she's in good, good form for her competitive season. So the ladies are coming back now. So those ladies are really They've got some strengths there, and each one yep. has their own unique strength. For me, the one to watch, like I said, is Amelia from Great Britain. Yep. What about you, Helio? What do you well, think? I, I agree on that, um, but also of the Christian Statia of Iceland. Yeah. yeah. She was outstanding last year. Um, she's got some see what great stuff coming up. So let's move on to the men's. As we said, unfortunately, Mikael Malkin will not be performing. He's come out here today to show he's part of the Face-Off family and he's ready to go. Look at that, Will Cohen coming in hyped and ready to perform. Will is a power tumbler from Great Britain. He just won the silver medal in the men's team event at the recent World Championships. You're going to see some really special, special stuff from him. This is our youngest athlete in the male category. We have Hippolyte Egwe from France. We talked about him a little earlier. He is really, really a fan of face-off and has worked hard and been inspired by what he has seen in recent years, and now he's here. Jeppe Kroh of Norway, the winner from 2021. He's going to show us some unique and stylish yeah, skills, I think. Some odd and quirky stuff. Unseen before. Now, Ethan McGuinness. Australia, world champion power tumbler from 2022, silver medalist from 2023. He is going to show you some real, real special skills. We have Connor Warham from Great Britain. Connor comes from Team Gym. He is not a stranger to any face-off event, is he? Oh, he, uh, he won it in Sweden last year. We got to watch out for him. Finally, we have Tofik, Tofik Aliyev. He is from Azerbaijan. He is world champion in the team event from this year's Power Tumbling World Championships in Birmingham. Now that is a lineup, isn't it? Finally, we have the local favorite, Rasmus Beck. You heard the crowd go crazy then. Mr. Faceoff. <laughs> Mr. Faceoff, <laughs> yeah. live and in color. Here's our lineup. So for you, now we've got Malkin, unfortunately, is not going to be performing today. Uh, who is your top pick? Well, if I have to pick one, I'm going to have to pick Rasmus Beck. Rasmus Beck. Yeah, because he's so cre uh, creative and he's been taking face-off gymnastics to a professional level. I mean, he's been coming to the gym in the morning alone. So, yeah. We now have our judges. These guys have the toughest job in the house. They are going to have to decide who is our face-off champion. They're going to have to see every twist, every landing, 
and see who is giving them all of those different, different criteria we talked about. Safety, creativity, personal style, flow, technique, and of course, difficulty. It's gonna be a combination of all those things. And so it's gonna be, I don't wanna be in that seat, do you? Oh no, it's hard to be a judge because they have to react so quickly. They just have to pull up a number uh, immediately after uh, a performance. They don't have time to think about difficulty and execution. So. Without a doubt, the most incredible gymnastics competition in the world. In a few seconds, we're going to have the most skilled athletes on the planet competing in this very arena. But hey, enough talking. The first discipline is already lined up behind me here. We have a 20 meter air track. In a few seconds, the athletes are going to go three rounds. Two of the rounds has got to be different from each other. Now, the judges are going to give a score from 1 to 10, and the best two tricks are the one that's going to count. We have a visual for you guys, so take a look. The first discipline of the night is called Tumbling XXX. This is the event that I'm most excited about. Being a former power tumbler myself, yeah. I am so excited to see what skills and what we're gonna see from these athletes. We're starting with the female category. They're going straight into this. We have three rounds. Best of two is gonna count. Are you ready? I'm definitely ready. And we're just about to start. The athletes are doing their final preparations, a few little stretches happening behind us, hyping themselves up. They are just to our hyped. right. Yeah. They are ready to go. I am so excited. We're going to be seeing double layouts. That's easy. We're Triple backs, hopefully. Backs, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And also, it would be interesting, you viewers at home, try and see if we can see the variety of, of tumbling that you're going to see. Yeah. Maybe we'll see more forward tumbling for exactly. some of the if team gym if you're athletes. A, yeah, exactly. Team gym athletes, they do have an advantage when it comes to front tumbling. Okay, we're starting with Amelia. First up, look at that excitement on her face. Here we go, Amelia. Look at that speed. Run off back handspring. Oh! Straight out the game, Miller. Here we go. Good start. I don't know if she was planning on doing a layout, but it ended up being kind of tough. That but is one of those skills that that is extremely high level. Yeah. She's putting the None pressure the on the athletes now. Two flips, three twists. We're Here. not going to see many of them today, I don't no. think. Now here we go. Beautiful, beautiful full push straight. Full. Extremely yeah. clean. Extremely strong. Very handed. nice execution. Nice landing as well. The execution definitely pip pipped yeah. uh, Amelia on that one. Yeah. Wow. Double layout transition and excellent. I whip back into the double pike. Excellent. Oh, and the back handspring. And she carried on yeah. all the way through on the landing area. Slightly over rotated. The double layout just didn't have enough height for her to be able to get her feet through to be able to get that transition powerful and pushing into her end skill. We go round off back handspring. Got a full full. Oh, very clean, very clean. That's a second full full straight we've seen. I think there's room for another twist here. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Whip back, whip back, whip back, and a beautiful double, double layout. Very clean, but definitely doesn't have the difficulty that we see all yeah, the yet. other athletes. Maybe she's just trying to build up the difficulty. Yeah, but I've got another two rounds. I don't think there's time to build up in this. Yeah. We're seeing big skills straight yeah. away, straight out the gate. We're going into round two now. Remember, best of three to count. Oh, Amelia is getting ready. Yeah. I'm excited to see what she's about to do in her second Looking pass. Looking so focused and such a good pace in the run-up. And oh, oh, two and a half twist 
Something double back, double in. That was sort of, nice. She's yeah. trying the big skills, but that's yeah. what you were saying earlier and about that risk. Also, that's a blind landing. That's uh, tough. Not able to see her feet before or see the mat before the landing. So but we're not going to see that. Difficult. From, we're not going to see that from anyone else, I don't think. No, though. I don't think so either. see what the judges do about that. Here, oh, another very layout clean. for Bull. Very clean. Two clean rounds from her. The reigning face-off champion of Iceland. Very clean full floor yeah. there. You see nice tight legs together. Good height, good distance. Double oh, layout. Double layout again. We're trying. That's excellent. Into oh, and a full pipe. Pipe. Oh, again, we just didn't yeah. get those feet underneath us in that double layout. But we are seeing double layout transitions from these female athletes, which is extremely difficult. So, what does she have for us now? Here we go. Oh, we started. We go. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. And full in. Wow. That Look was at that nice. combination. That's Rani, really A unique one here. Now, the judges are looking for flow. That had some yeah. really here. interesting flow. A backflip with a half twist. And she finishes off with a tuck full in. A little scrappy at the beginning. Yeah. Full in. Here, another one. That was. I've, I, I feel she like was she planning was planning on there. hitting the air mat once again. Wow, so after two rounds, we are looking at, as I said, Alster and Amelia look like they are they are taking the lead so far in yeah. my book. I don't know about you, Helia, yeah, what do you I, think? I agree, but it depends on the judges. Do they prefer difficulty or execution? When it comes to execution, Alster Kristin she it's was very true. She was the top one. But we had a unique skill, although she didn't quite land it. I mean, the judges have got to give us yeah. some points for going for it here at Face Off. Final round, it's all gonna count on this. Look how strong she is. Here are the triple! Triple yeah. tap! Look at that! We're not gonna yes. see that again, I don't think. A little we, bit of a deep landing though, but it oh, was you so gotta clean in the air. You have, so clean in the air. You gotta give her that. Triple look. tap for a female athlete. We yep. just do not see that. I know. We do not see that. That was beautiful. Your whip back to a oh! two and a half twisting. Was that supposed to be a Miller? I probably. I don't, don't know, know, but know. I, I would She's probably count it as a two and a half twist. She wasn't sure about it at the yeah. end there, so but I'm not sure what happened. She did, did land up on her feet. And very clean again. Yeah. I wonder what the judges are going to do with that one. Yeah. We're getting into the last half of our final round now. Triple! Lands on her knees, but two a triple. Triple is a triple. A triple is a triple. I felt Amelia maybe had that little edge there. That was yeah. a little bit deeper. She got a little landing. bit more height than her. Here we go. What have we got in store for our final pass? Oh, oh. a Miller attempt. Oh, I'm not sure about that. That was a good two and a half attempt. Yeah. Again, that blind landing. It's been. Yeah. It's caught a few people out today. Here we go. Final performer. Brani, whip, half. Oh, half Brani. twist. Interesting. And a double pike. Interesting oh, combination. Nice. nice. That was insane. Two triples, Millers, two and a half twisting double layouts. Yeah. I mean. Two and three quarters. We have started off very strong. Yeah. Now we're going to switch to the scoreboard and see what is happening. What did the judges do with that? Oh, we we called it. We yeah. called it, but it is very, very close. It, it was that final trick for Amelia, that 8.4 on that triple tuck. Yeah. The judges liked it. The judges liked it just as much as I did, I have to say. Yeah, I loved it too, and we got to see true triples. Two and triples. I think that's beyond my expectations. The, oh, the, me as well. The, the, the level of difficulty here was really high starting off. I did not expect to see two mm. triple backs. No. I did not expect to see as many two and a half twisting, double layouts, millers. The, the ladies here have really set the bar high for a very entertaining yeah. competition. That was a good start. The men, I mean, what's going to happen with the men? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I know. <laughs> I think we're going to be seeing some some killers. Mm. Maybe some. Yep. Maybe Kill, even killer some plus. Full, full fools. Quads. The guys are getting ready right now, lining up, ready to take the stage for the first time today. 
we're starting here with Will Cohen, power tumba specialist. This is his discipline. If he wants to make a mark, now is the time to do it. Will, what have you got for us? Come on. Oh, triple pike. Triple pike. Ooh, a little Over bit too rotated. Far. Yeah. Will is exceptionally clean. He's not going to be happy about that start there. You can see it on his face. Shots off. <laughs> Topic is ready to go. Oh, yeah. Look how strong he is. You're going to see him using every single one of those muscles in what he is about to do right now. And he's doing tumbling and team gym. And he's a professional athlete in uh, Azerbaijan. So, well, play out football. Into Oi! triple! Oh, the boys! Look at yep. this. They are really going for it. Some full in skill. triple. Full, full to full twisting triple. The judges giving that eight. Yeah. They are rewarded the that oh, difficult. How tiny he gets up in the air. Here we go. Oh, oh, the young French giving us that Uzong with a double full out. That's where we see that split in the first somersault, kicking into that double full out. Very, very classy skill. That, that's the one I call a starfish. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yepe, what are you going to show us right now? He has told us to be ready for something crazy. So The winner from a couple of years ago. Double, double day out. out. Oh! Yep. Oh, and he finished. Still manages to do a double tuck at the end. But one wrong move, you see yeah. his shoulders were slightly high out of that double layout, which meant that his whip was not under any control, and as soon as that happens, you're out of the game. Here we go, Connor. Starting with that front salto with... Oh! oh beautiful! Two and a half twist thing. Full twist in the first somersault, one and a half twist in the second somersault, and we're looking at that forward tumbling again. Look how it's elegant it is when it's done right. Forward tumbling is so much more complex. I oh think, my god, absolutely. The backwards tumbling. Here we go, Ethan. Ethan is a showman, and he is about to show us exactly yeah. why he is the world champion in 2022. Oh, triple layout! Beautiful! Second, it's chest high. Easy. And what a start We've got him. nines, we've got ten. We are looking, yeah. look at that. Look how Legs clean tight is. together, that look yeah. easy. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> I never thought I'd say. Triple layout looked easy. Hasmus Beck coming up, the local boy. What's he got to answer that? Double layout. Another double layout, and to a triple! Oh! oh look at that! Oh. Last respect. Double layout, in double layout, minutes. triple tuck. That's what we want to see. Nines across the and board from the judges. They even like though he's, he's the tallest athlete here, he still manages to put in two double layouts and a triple. It's a lot to fit in on that tumble track. It is. It's a lot to fit in. We're going into round two now. So, Will. Will Cohen from Great Britain. Oh, after round one, yep. it's tied at the top. Full twisting triple pike! Look at that landing! First full twisting triple pike we'll get to see today. He almost had a kick out of that. Yeah. That was beautiful. Eights and nines from the judges. We've got one seven in there as well. A minor leg separation, but that's very, fair. Very, that's very, very fair. good I mean, tumbling yeah. from him. Tofik, let's see if he can stand up on his feet on this next pass. Layout full full. And full triple twist. triple pike! Oh. So he saw Will do that full twisting yeah. triple pike and said, you know what, I'm going to up you. I'm going to do it from a full, full layout. Out of my round off. Anything oh. you can do, I can do better. That's a nice transition here. Not losing any speed at all. Here we go. Hippo from France. Double layout. Beautiful double layout. And a triple. Triple tuck. Very, very clean. Not got the difficulty that we saw from the other boys, but very clean still. The judges took him down a little bit there on that difficulty, hitting around six. Yep. And Yippe Crow just took off his shirt. It's getting serious yep. now, Yippe. Round two. Pull out. Oh, those shots came up. Oh! And a double layout. 
interesting wow. combination. Yeah. There. I thought he lost it there at that double yeah, layer. Exactly, exactly. I always they love seeing like when they start doing backwards tumbling and then they end up doing It's all about the surprises, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about the surprise. That's what gets the audience going, showing us the unexpected. Here we go, Connor. Forward, Forward once again. And a triple out. Oh! Nice. That is impressive. To get a triple front half out out of that handspring, that is yeah. Very, very difficult, and the judges loved it. Connor's putting himself into the mix with that second pass. Here we go, Ethan. Get in the crowd hyped. We're with you, Ethan. Show us what you got. The crowd are behind him on this one. Full, full, full! Oh! Triple twist and I... triple back. He took that double le triple oh. layout and he said, you know what? Yeah. Here's well, something even better. What a start for him. That is exceptionally performed. Landing was great. Yeah. Tight execution through the air. That looked easy. I mean, just by looking at the first couple of rounds, he looks so much better than last year. Triple, triple position here. What's going to happen? to triple. Another one. Oh. Oh. That is now. Is his signature yep. 2019 2023. Yep. Here we go, Rasmus. Yeah, wow. Rasmus came to play. That was exquisite here. Such an amazing height Rasmus. and a beautiful transition in here. Triple back to finish. Showing wow. us why wow. he is the man to yeah. beat today. Wow. Just wow. That local crowd really getting behind him. All right, we'll go. And here we go. Full out. And a triple. Oh! oh but he lost good, it a little bit there. Job. Then he kept momentum. I mean, I thought it was there. Out hard. of that yeah, full out. Exactly, exactly. His knees buckled, which yeah. dropped his whip very low. To be able to pull that triple even to there was pretty impressive. But that's going to take him out of the running to be in the top, top part of this group. Tofik had a good start too. Let's see what he's got for us now. He needs to have a good one here. He, yeah. he had that little buck on the landing first round. Yeah. Second run was extremely good. Let's see if he can finish strong. Two out of three to count. And that's oh! a flip! That Four is flips. exceptional, exceptional. He is on yeah. fire. You can see the speed going down. Doesn't look quite satisfied though. Um, he. Well, that, that was is amazing. Difficult. I have not seen a quad live on air track. Whoa. Oh, this looks like that's his signature and move the there. Full nice full full track at the end. Nice yeah. execution. Look at him having a great time with the audience here. And that's what this is about. Enjoying yourself on stage, performing, making this the event to be at. Look at that full full tuck. This one's one to watch in the future, baby. Here we go, Yepi. Ooh, Ooh, he lost it out of that front. Took him what off to the side in that handspring. What was original plan here? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what it was, but it definitely did not go to plan. He lost his momentum coming out of that front somersault walkout into his handspring. Let's go, Connor. Full out. Oh! oh Talk about unique. Nice. I was not yeah. expecting that. I was a backflip with a quarter turn <laughs> to a round off. It was a round off yeah. coming from backwards. I don't even know how yeah, to describe here. that. Here we go. Quarter twist, sort um, of. And a, that was a round off with a quarter turn. Starting from behind. Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean. That's odd, and that's what face off is about. And that's what it's about, yeah. exactly. He's definitely going to get some, yeah. some bonus creativity marks for that pass. Here we go, Ethan. No! Oh, wow. full, full. You could see he was building and building after each pass, getting better and better, lifting up that difficulty. That, was, that is exceptionally yeah. difficult. All right, Rasmus Beck, what have you got to finish yeah. this round? That triple to triple before was just amazing. Ethan, but did not put the full in the final somersault. Exactly. Back, full, yeah. back. I'm not sure if that's what he was going to do in his head, but it's what he ended up doing on the stage. That was right. an exceptional.
exceptional opening round for us. I can't wait to see what the leaderboard is saying. It's going to get close. I was joking when I said that these athletes are among the, the judges very best can't even get the over it. They, wide they can't world. believe what they've like just we've seen. Just kickstarted this competition, got the fire breathing going, got the dragon alive in here in form horses. I feel like it's uh, about time to take a look at the scoreboard for a second. It will be on the screen in a few seconds. And uh, while we wait for that, Melde, that triple to triple transfer. How about that? <laughs> I feel like uh, if that is the level for face off 2023, this one is going to be even more legendary than ever before, right? Right, right, right. And as we saw already in the, in the top of the master scoreboard, it's going to be super duper tight this year. Have in mind, folks, that uh, the first discipline was all about the power tumbling. The next discipline is going to be quite something else and it's going to require a set of, let's just say, another skill. I mean, uh, in face-off, it is very important to uh, of course, be a skilled power tumbler, but if you have a background in Team Gym, it's not a disadvantage. We That's are waiting. For sure. We're still we are waiting, waiting for that, for that scoreboard. scoreboard. I think the judges are screen. putting together, they're checking their scores and making sure that we've got everybody in the correct position because I don't know about you, but it looks pretty seconds. tight for me yeah. in that men's category. It should be tight. Tell me, what was your highlight of that event? Well, that would be the triple Keep back the transition Last into respect. the triple back by that that was respect. that was amazing that was exceptional yeah. for me though ethan's right. tumbling the technique yeah. right. and difficulty All of what of he group. showed really was just second to none i mean the triple transition is phenomenal finishing with the triple back don't get me wrong but i just was really taken aback by the class of the elements yeah. and how they well they were performed yeah. so we'll see what the judges thought but exactly. for me but i would maybe put I, him there. I, I, agree, I agree on what you're saying because uh, ethan has a unique style when he's uh, doing his tumbling and he is so aggressive while still being clean in the air i mean exactly. look at the way he flips around in that triple layout yeah that, it's that combination isn't it it's yeah. that combination of power with finesse and that's yeah. something that the judges really are going to like, and I'm not, I'm not saying the other guys were, mm. we're not doing great, but when no. we're at this level, yeah. it's looking at what is the, the difference yeah. between, yeah. It's, it's minimal, it's tiny. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep just opening with that triple layout. Triple layout with the legs locked straight, yeah. didn't scrappy, it was, it was very special. So, we are getting ready for our next discipline as well. We're looking for the lottery, which is going to be in the mini tramp. So, like we said to you before, it's going to be a little bit different for the tumblers, but this is where maybe the Team Gym athletes can show a little bit of their flair. What do you think? Yeah, because Team Gym athletes, they, well, they, they have a bit more versatility, I think. Absolutely. Um, but also, the next one is... This well, <laughs> this was the know. one. This it's was the one that you said that Ethan last time. It was a little bit. Was maybe his weaker event. So yeah, it was the first, was the first time it? for him doing the mini trampoline. Um, so yeah, this time. I saw him uh, doing some work in the training room, and it was uh, it was pretty good. So I think he has been training uh, training yeah. a little bit since last year's event. So I'll be interested to see where we're going with that. And what's exciting about the lottery is we have six different categories. So we're trying to figure out which one they're going to be doing. They're going to find out now, and then they're going to have to make sure that they're fulfilling that category. We're ready for that again. Let's see what's going on.
Here we go for the lottery. As you saw, some crazy tricks coming off that mini tramp. We're going to be looking at how many twists can we fit in somersaults? How many different shapes can we fit in them? What is your signature move? What is your signature style? They're the type of things that we're going to be seeing in this event right now. We're going to be starting with the female again. What do you think is going to be our highlight from the female section? Who do you think is going to maybe step up now? Obviously, Amelia is just pipping at the moment, Alster. Yeah. What's going to happen now? I don't know. I mean, I have great expectations from both of them. Um, Indeed, absolutely. They're used to doing They would not be here if they're trampoline. not going to show us something special. Here we go for the twisting event. The yeah. twister. This is where they've got to show us as many twists as they can possibly do. That, that was, was a nice clean. Rebel twist. Nice and clean, nice and clean. What has Victoria got in store for us? Remember, this is the twister category. Oh, a full uh, twist, a half twist. Half in, in half, out. half out. Yeah. Interesting. The athletes need to decide whether the judges are going to be looking for more somersaults with lots of twists or keep it on the lower. Oh, there yep. we go. There was two, That's two and a half twists. See. Full twist in the first, one and a half in the second. Now that's what the twister is about. Here we go, Alsa. I expect to see big things here. Oh, oh she three went, and a half. She went for the three and a half. Didn't quite make it. It'll be interesting to see what the judges do with this. Oh, yeah, that took her down in the scoring. Low. But that was a valiant effort on a very difficult skill. That was impressive, even though we didn't get to the feet. And oh! That's oh! not a three and a half, that but that's a triple mind twist. Blowing, yeah. Mind blowing, front landing. Beautiful, beautiful Blind skill. Landing. The judges like yeah. that. Very, very powerful. Nice. She loved that, didn't she? That was exceptional. What was even more awesome is she saw Alsa going for that, going for that big three and a half, and she thought, I'm gonna clean, keep it at that triple. But that's not something that you see normally, that front landing. No, a lot of the really athletes hard. favor that. that in team gym. A lot of that uh, they favor that half out landing because it's much easier to see and spot. That was very, very unique. So, after round one. This is the pikey, so we're showing all different shapes, but this one is pike. So all the athletes have to show a nice, clean pike shape. That was a half in back out pike. So viewers at home, you want to make sure that you're seeing those legs nice and straight and a nice deep pike. That's what the judges are looking oh, for. Oh, round up to round a double up back pike. Double pike. That is oh. an interesting use of the equipment. That was not what I was expecting. Yeah. The judges liked it as well. That's oh, def definitely some creativity points Look there, at the right? takeoff angle here after the round off. That was pretty. I like yeah. that. Here we go. Oh! oh. Sideways. That was a, a, a cork. What, what, what do you call I'm it? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Yeah. I think it was a half in double back pike, I think, maybe. Is that what we can call that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I think she turned a little bit early off that, off that mini tramp and took her off to the side, unfortunately. Here we go, Alistair. Ooh. Oh, nice. Randy out. Pretty Pike, that was very clean. Her first Pike position opening up, adding a, that was one and a half twist. One and a half, sorry, yeah. Rudy out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, triple out. See, that was meant to be a triple Pike front with a half yeah. out. And Fortunately, we tucked those legs. If so the judges are going to count this as a tuck, they counted it, but they definitely hammered oh. her on her execution ah, okay. on that one. Still. But that is a big skill for a female athlete. That was a very impressive effort. I think we could have seen it a little bit better from Amelia. She might be a little bit upset with that, but it was a very, very big jump. She's taking the lead. As you can see, some of these athletes are. We're splitting the uh, the field a little bit. Alster, she's falling down a little bit here. Let's see if she can bring it back up in this third and final round. This is the signature move. So we are looking at what you are known for, Josephine. Show us what you're known for. Beautiful. Nice back and clean. Out. Very clean. 
Ooh, the judges, the judges felt it was a little bit too easy for a signature move. Third and final round. Oh, that might have out. Interesting, interesting. The judges liked it. That was an interesting combination there, not only with the unique entry, but also a nice half out from that pike shape. Not easily done at all. Exactly what we've been looking for on that mini tram. Nice big scores. Beautiful. Full twist in the first Just clip and two a and a half in the second. Bit more height to make that yeah. landing round a bit cleaner. Oh! oh! With quarter turn. That was never going to make it, but oh. <laughs> that was a very, very difficult pass. The judges taking it down there. Amelia, what have you got for your final pass? Show us your signature move, Amelia. What are you known for? Triple oh, out. triple out tug. A little over rotation. She had a real, real good setup there off that mini tramp, which gave her the nice lift of the of the mini tramp. A little bit higher than she expected, I think. And here is the scoreboard, Amelia flying into the lead. She's really putting some distance here above the, the rest of the crowd. She is looking good there at the top of that leaderboard. I am very impressed of what she is performing right now. And remember, 16 years old. Like, we have got many more years of face-off left in Amelia, and this is very, very exciting what she's doing for us right now. We're going to be moving on to the men's category next. Same thing, different categories. It's still our lottery, but the boys are going to be doing something a little bit different. So first up, we are going to be starting with the twisting category, and then we're going to be moving on to some other exciting skills for you. Here we go, Yeppe. Show us your known twist. for doing. So, oh, oh wow. did not even Triple touch the trampoline. Ball over the mini trap. What are the judges wow. gonna do with that? Oh, they did not like it. Like it. Well, I'm a little bit surprised they didn't like it because this is unusual. This it's is unique. This is creative. It's hard as well. <laughs> it's so hard. That it's is not easy. Off from the Here we go. It ball clean, but we're gonna see something a lot more difficult from the rest yeah. of the crowd, I think. Ippo, he's he is more of a tumbler, so I think we're seeing a little bit of less experience on that mini trap from him. Let's see what Will's got. Oh! One and a half twisting triple. That was pretty, Will. I like that. Nice and high, chest landed good. Judges giving him safe scores there. What has our former face-off champion got for us on Mini Tramp? Oh my God! That is what we want to see. That was amazing. Three that, and a half twisting triple. That is insane. I've not seen that live before. That full, is full unbelievable. Wow. Landed, knees did not touch. I'm impressed. I'm sure the judges were. That is going to be hard to beat. Oh, yep. That's nice, very clean. He Beautiful. is so clean in the yeah. air. And he's so, so compact. So compact and yeah. tight. That's really exceptional what we're seeing there. Eight sevens, the judges liked it as well. Rasmus. The crowd going wild. Oh, very clean. He made that look so easy. It's too easy. We need to put another twist in there, Rasmus. That was clean. Okay, Ethan. All the way from Australia. Former World Power Tumbling Champion. But he oh, definitely did some mini trampoline too. That is awesome. That is high level mini tramp right there for you. Ethan has not been home for six weeks. He came straight from the World Championships in Birmingham. He's been here in Denmark training for this event, and he is on fire. 
Look at that. First place, Ethan, with Connor in second, Tofik in third. What have we got for our third and final round? This is actually our second round. We have got position. Whoa, that was nice. I think the judges are going to like this more than what we saw from him before. So it's going to be interesting here. We is meant to show two different shapes, and so he showed straight and tuck in that. Oh, missed the run up. Yes, he lost what he was doing there a little bit. Did he show enough shape for the judges? He did not. So we're trying to see in the air two, at least two different shapes. If you can show more, even better. Clean. Here's your Straight layout and tuck. and tuck. A lot of twists. What's going to get the scores on this one is that real good definition between the different shapes that they are performing. As you saw there with Will, we had a really big, big high difficult skill, but the shape at the end was not really a tuck. Oh, we had a... We had a oh, what a layout a and a... With a starfish. Starfish. <laughs> starfish, a starfish tuck, layout. A layout, a tuck. Connor yeah. is showing us. We got tens from the judges. Oh, beautiful. Tens. Showing three different. Connor is Your starfish us. tuck. Why? Uh, I would I wouldn't say he was layout at any point, but still. Guys, nice. half in triple pike. Over rotated. It's hard to follow Connor after that one, wasn't it? Oh! We started with a pike. We showed Leo in the middle, Pike at the end. Yeah. I'm gonna like that. That's what the judges wanted to see. Eight across the board, showing Looks like those a different fish shapes in the air. You see how clearly he yeah. showed those different shapes there. That is what that round was about. Oh! That was something, Ethan. He is keeping in the mix here in this mini tramp. Look at that pike coming out of that pike shape into twisting tuck. Here we go. Now we're into our third and final round. This is the big shot. Now, <laughs> go pretty self-examined. Or go home. <laughs> go big or go home here for your final round. Connor, ooh, he's pipping Ethan right now. He's showing us this is his discipline. What do they have in store for us for our final round? Yepe, show us your big shot, Yepe. Let's go. A lot more speed this time. And the quad. Oh! Almost made it. That is the first one that we have seen today. The judge is giving him high scores, but had he just made it a little bit around, then we would have been up there in the tens, I think. What? That is impressive. Have in, double back out. Not the difficulty that we've been seeing from the other athletes. Clean, safe, but that's not going to win you face off, is it? No, not this time. Will Cohen. Oh! Over rotated. A lot of room. Could have done more. He could have done more. Oh, yeah. All right, Connor, our current leader. What is he going to show us for his third and final round? Quad! Oh! oh slightly what under -rotated. would the judges do about that? Because that is some big, yeah. big skills coming off the mini trap. They liked it. They liked it. Just a little bit more height, and he could have, he could have landed that and got there up in the tens. But he is showing us that he is a force to be reckoned with tonight at faceoff. Tovik, do you have one for us as well? I think so. Yeah. I saw him warming up his triple out, and exactly. it was. Hi. <laughs> he just 
has the ability to get tiny while in the air, right? So, here... Oh! oh. He went up a little too high. That, that should did be, not have that, the rotation. That should he be is a fine. zero. He is doing okay. He's giving us a thumbs up. That went up and it did not go round. Yeah. <laughs> that is a difficult thing with such a complex Glad he's skill. fine. Here we go, Rasmus. Sideways with the quarter twist out. With a little twist in the end. That was impressive. That's what gave him that little flare at the end there. And, oh, that is impressive. Rasmus back there showing us exactly why he is Mr. Faceoff. Now, Ethan McGuinness, what have you got for your third time? Talk, no. I don't know, somewhere Man, in that between. That was big. That was big. Here we go. That's the end of the round. We're handing it back to Lesser in the arena. I think I it was mean, supposed to be a layout. At that. I don't know about you guys on the live stream, but the, the crowd here in Form Horsens, they really, really seem to enjoy what they just witnessed. We've been around the block now. We've had a discipline in power tumbling. We've had a discipline that required the mini trampoline, and the question is, is that going to be visible or is it going to be obvious in the scoreboard? I think we should take a look at the scoreboard right now. I'll just take a few steps this way. And right now on the scoreboard we have on the third place the, uh, the dude with the home turf advantage, Rasmus Beck. On second place we have Connor Warren, and on the first place, Ethan McGuinness. All right, all right. So tension is building up here in Form Horse, since we really do have ourselves a competition here in Face Off 2023. Melde, when I'm looking in, uh, in the rundown in my manuscript that I have in my hand right here, it says that the next point requires a crowd, which is here. We also need a highly experienced host, which is over here. And then it actually doesn't say any more than that. Do you know more or you'll take it from here. Meldehan, the stage is yours. We have seen something exceptional happening here this afternoon at this face-off final. For me, what I'm seeing is the level is getting better and better. You're seeing the athletes yeah. getting more and, and more hyped. It's and at the same time, I think the execution level is also very high. Absolutely. And, um, I told you before, Ethan is hungry. Ethan is definitely hungry. And as I said to you earlier, Ethan has been traveling for six weeks. He's yeah. been in Denmark training, working hard for this. He wants this championship. He has been working. His story is fantastic. He wakes up 5 a.m. He's working on a farm. He's yeah. coaching. He's doing Uber, he's training, he's doing everything he can. Without the support from the local or the national federation, Exactly, right? he so, does what he can to yeah. be able to come to these events. He spent $50,000 this year on competitions. So for him to be able to be here at this event, performing, this is, this is what he loves. And so to see him at the top of the leaderboard right now at the halfway stage, that's very exciting. That's very exciting. He is going to have that that passion, which is really going to drive him towards the end of this competition. Yeah. Now, the plateau. What's next? Plateau. Wow. That's an interesting one. It has to be so precise because there are different levels that you can do tricks upon. Um, and we're going to see some it madness can, going on here. It can go here. wrong it can so go wrong. quickly. Yeah. So you're going to see some really interesting things. We're going to have mounts coming in off the mini tramp onto the air mat. If they're if the athlete is slightly off their angle, they have got a whole course still ahead of them and they're going to run into some troubles and get into the end. We're going to have him from the air mat onto the trampoline, dismount off the trampoline. It is skills coming everywhere. So this is something that's really exciting. This is just an event for the men. So we're going to see... I think Rasmus Beck's going to be doing pretty good on this one. I hear yeah. he's got some tricks coming up. The boys were chatting about this in the training room, and I think he, for me, is going to be the one to watch on this one. Yeah, me too. I think, yeah. So, we're going to see some highlights from qualifying. One, 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 one,
true stop trade walkers at the edge of your dreams and talk of one. One shot for the kill, the breeze cut freeze up, straight drop and the chills are talking. Taking over pieces and shares of all big sky high, check the movement is here, yeah. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the creature is yours, go. Turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula in chemistry Leaving Marie spark and motivate And make the industry shake We put the bars in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting princes through the culture Keep the pressure fresh Flip the cover, work the drum A passion never rest Freedom is a teacher I'm the pressure, now we bless See how we so good for the good It's one up, one shot Now the future is yours, go Yeah it's one on oh, one shot, now the future be sure it's gone. One, one on oh, one shot, now the future be sure it's gone. Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming in, we gonna do show. Working on the plot and the scheme, the true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one, one shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop, and the chills are talking. Taking over pieces and shares of all big sky high. Check the movement is here. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot. Now the future is yours. Go. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the ball to the place. One chance at best, yes. They in princes for the culture, keep the pressure fresh. Flip the cover, work the drum, a passion never rest. Freedom is a teacher, I'm the pressure, now we bless. See, I was so good for the go. It's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours. Go! Yeah! It's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours. Go! In my eyes, you see a victory. We ain't taking L's. Death to our enemies. You see the drip on me. You cannot get with me. You cannot stop me. Sit back and watch me straight to the top.
And while we just witnessed the video right behind me, uh, a pretty legendary setup has made its way onto the stage. If you've been to a face-off competition before, or if you've seen it online, it is pretty notorious. It is also pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go with a few bullet points for you guys just to, to make sure that you know the rules, all right? So, first of all, it's an all-male discipline, this one. We're gonna go for 10 minutes. It's gonna be the two best tricks that are gonna count in the end as the final score. The gymnasts, they can pass a round if they want to, and if they do so, the round or the turn is gonna go to the next athlete in line. The next discipline is called the plateau. One thing that you are not going to see anywhere else in the world is the plateau. Plateau 2.0, what do we got in store? What's going to happen? Well, we've got a mini trampoline, we've got multiple air tracks on different levels, and a big trampoline. So this really is pit. a combination yeah. of every single skill that we've been seeing today. We've got tumbling, mini tramp, big trampoline, 10 minutes. Show us what you've got, boys. We're ready to see some big, big skills. Here we go. First up, you see that mini tramp entrance, double Bubble layout transition. Out. Ooh. Missed it here, but. Like we said earlier, that one mistake, it is a long past that. You've got to make sure you can sustain to the end. Oh, full twisting dive roll. I like that one. Double out. Ooh, double layout. And. Oh, oh, look at that inward, inward but he's like, some he's able to do some, uh, he, he, he can always improvise. Uh, and that's it's like a cat. Because he's like a cat. You throw him in the air, he's going to land on his feet. Yeah. This is something that Will is less familiar with. He was telling me it was his, the one he was most concerned about today. Now he's back on the air track, yeah. much where he feels comfortable. Not much difficult here. He's still finding his feet on this apparatus though, but I think a few more passes. Yeah, He's got 10 it's, minutes it's, together. It's only the best two uh, runs that count. Exactly, exactly. And these, these guys have got to pace themselves because they don't want to get too tired, but also want to get as many runs in as they can. Nice little front walkout. Double layout transition. Whoa! Yeah. See, what's so complicated about this is the change in surface, the timing from yeah. the air track to the big trampoline to the air track. This is where Rasmus Beck Shows and us. Oh, good cool position. Look at that. Look at that. That is when you're talking about oh, flow. Exactly, because the first couple of runs, they, no one really showed that flow that this discipline would They weren't require. using the apparatus yeah. how it's meant to be used. Exactly. Connor, he's been on this before. Look oh, at this. Wow. Oh, 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 very long double layout <laughs> and wow. Whoa, to save that just shows you pure class, pure class. That double layout, I think he skimmed his head on the on the trampoline on the, on the way in. Look how low that was. Wow, so low and long. To full, pull that full in pike on the end there. Yeah. Front walk out. Nice double layout. Oh, full, full tuck. Yeah, Ethan. Tiny full, full. Ethan loves twisting in that tuck shape. He was telling me earlier, one of his favorite skills is that Miller tuck. So he likes that shape. He can pull it around nice and nice and tight from pretty much anything. Here we go, Hippo from France. You see the tumblers all favoring that front somersault walkout. Oh! That was okay, good. he's good. That's good. See, we've got to be watching there on that distance to make sure that he is clearing the air mat there at the end. You see the judges giving zero. It is very important to stay safe and not throw things. Oh, oh, right oh. How can he keep this one going? Oh. Somehow he's managed to keep what it double there. going. Pull out. He's oh. Talk about oh. improvising! That's I don't know what we want to see. This is definitely the highlight of this uh, this discipline. In my Look opinion. at that! We thought it was wow. over at the start, yeah. and he's just got nines, yeah. eights, and he's showing us again his class and creativity. Here we go, Will. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Oh, 
Dog layout, and no. you've got to wait on that trampoline. Yeah. That trampoline gotta be patient. has a lot of give in it. It is not like the previous surfaces. Take your time. Let the trampoline lift you up just like Rasmus Beck did. Sticking to that front summy walkout. Full out transition. And a triple! Very nice. Little over rotation there. I'd like to see something a little bit different coming from these guys, coming from power tumbling, all sticking to that front summy walkout yeah. at the beginning. And what I appreciate about this discipline is when they can get the flow going. Let's see what Asmus Beck's got for us here. Triple! triple. Wow! Oh! What? Oh! No. Wow! Oh. <laughs> all right. If he can pull off, I don't know. Oh! oh. Wow! That was so much stuff going on Talk here. About different directions. Wow. That was, I think, even yeah. just to get to the end on that. I want to see the replay of that one later. Exceptional. I have yeah. no idea what he did. Yeah. Oh, oh class sideways. The entrance. Here we go. Full, full. 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 And the full, full in. Pike. Pike. Connor, that was an exceptional pass there. Yep. Connor really is showing us why he is one to watch here. Look at that. Sevens across the board. I would have given that a little bit higher. I like that one. Ethan, what have you got? Brad Sammy walk out. Triple. Clean, clean, and not a lot of skills. We've been seeing more skills, I would say, from some of the other athletes, but what he did there was very clean. Judges liked it. All right, the young, young one from France. Let's go, Hippo. Needing to lift that double layout. Falling foul to what a lot of these guys have been doing. Not lifting that double layout up enough off the trampoline and not giving them enough time to get their feet underneath them and go into that transition. Are you ready for this one? I am. Wow. Oh! Oh! Wow, but I just, I just can't <laughs> understand how he's able to keep going. No like matter I said what earlier, happens. he is a cat. Yeah. That is a shame because that yeah. opening skill there, that full half, was really nice. Yeah. It just went a little bit too long, could not fit in what he was doing. Missing out that initial mini trap, this looks like it is a difficult one for Will. That was clean, except the end in there. This is really uh, showing, uh, showing his inexperience in this discipline, I would say, but still scored mid-range. There we go. That was better. Here we go. Full to see triple. Oh, nice. Nice. Excellent. That's it. Now you see he's starting to get used to that timing. This is great that these athletes have 10 minutes on there to yeah. really start to, get the to find... To try a lot of different combinations. Find that rhythm. That rhythm that seems to be so important. Rasmus Beck knows exactly what he's doing on this. Tuck full out, double A out. He has and got he fits so out. much Jump control! And, well, that's the stock landing. That is a class act. That's got to be tense. That's got to be tense. What more could you do? What more? Who gave that a nine? Yeah. <laughs> the class in the air, the control with his body. You have not seen that yet from anyone else. Connor, well, oh, how do you want to that? Keep Triple going. Out. That's a double first. layout. And a full full. Very, very good line. That's the first triple mount that we've seen. The judges liked it. Not quite as much as our guy Rasmus. Yeah. Here we go, Ethan. Sticking to that safe beginning. Oh, that very low. low. Double back half twist out. Sticking to that safe beginning, that front semi walkout round off, lay out now onto the big tramp. But if you're going to do something safe and easy at the beginning, you better be ready to step it up at the end. Let's see what he's got in the second half of this pass. Nice. Double lay out and a full fold. Full fold tuck. We have two minutes remaining. What have they got in stock for us? How many more passes can we squeeze in here? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, whoa, close to the end. Oh, he's and going back the going. other way. All right. What? 
<laughs> the two men, the one leg landing. Uh, you all right? One legged landing. Oh, it seems well, to be on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He didn't make the end of the pass there, which is going to score him a little bit lower than the others because we are looking for him to get all the way to the end of this course. Layout oh, that's out. nice, Will. There yeah, we go. Ball. Good pass from him. Yeah. There we go. Much better. Much better. Higher scores there from the judges this time. One minute remaining. We only have one minute remaining of this category. What can we see from Tofik? Can he get up there in the leaderboard? Triple, triple! Oh, he hit a really nice... Triple! Nice. Oh, that was nice! That was what we want to see! That is the one we're about! Triple off that big trampoline, transition to another triple. The judges loved it. They loved it. Nice. They loved it. I think if he landed that, that would have been up there in the tent. Let's see what Rasmus has as his final pass. That is beautiful. Double out. 25 seconds. Oh, and Rasmus would have back. double back. Showing us he is unbeatable in this discipline. It is his discipline today. Nines across the board. Beautiful, beautiful. Connor keeping Help this starfish and another one. energy going yeah. all the way to the end. A little bit low, but he fought and showed us why he should still be in contention for this championship. Here we go, Ethan. Lovely height, full full. Miller, oh, talk Miller. Miller attack at the end. We talked about that. Yeah. That was amazing. We're gonna hand back to Lessa and we're gonna check out the scoreboard. I would love to, Mel, I would love to, and to the guys on the live stream. I don't know if you witnessed what we witnessed in here, but the athletes are doing a very good job trying to burn down form horses to the ground. That was some pretty epic stuff we just saw on the plateau. It is going to be super interesting to see now on the scoreboard who's on the throne. Let's take a look. Right now, on the third place, we have from Australia, Ethan McGuinness. On the second place, Connor Warren, and currently on the throne, the guy from Denmark, Rasmus Beck. Melde, I feel like you haven't shown us your full potential yet in terms of crowd happenings. Now, do I have a case, or is it just something that, I mean, is blowing in the wind? You have one more thing? I'm being told right now in my ear that I have to move this way, which is quite interesting due to all of the equipment moving around right here. But Melde, I won't take your time for much longer because uh, I feel like you have a, some sort of a face-off new classic thing going on, right? Okay. Hell yeah, I am getting hyped. Yeah. This is getting wild up in here. The audience is going crazy. The yeah. athletes are and going crazy. And it feels crazy. like the temperature in here is, I don't yeah, know, incre <laughs> increased with uh, <laughs> 10 degrees. Yeah. That was something special. And really, Rasmus Beck was in a class of his own. Yeah. He was flying in that discipline. Look at that. He's put a real lead yeah. over I, Connor in that. I uh, kind of position. was expecting him to um, to advance here. Yes, uh, absolutely. And he definitely did. He did not disappoint. Yeah. He did not disappoint. Ethan holding his own there, keeping up there in the top three. Really, Connor and Rasmus, the real the face-off, uh, more experienced face-off uh, athletes, really showing us why they are there and why they should be there at the top of that leaderboard. We've got one more event coming and it is going to be very tight between the top few in both the women's and the men's because all is not lost. Everything is still to play for and I'm super excited to see what we're going to see on the double trouble. Yeah, me too. And before, we, I mean, we, we did see a lot of mistakes 
and uh, the plateau being so complicated with so many different levels, the plateau is probably a little bit easier. And I don't think we're going to see that many mistakes in that one. No, double trouble. We I've been watching that in the training, and this is, once you've got your accuracy of your takeoff point, I was talking to some of the guys, they're saying it takes a little bit of time to find your hand placements and your entry angles, but once you find it, the opportunity to do these huge skills is really endless. So to finish with this final event is going to be something that's extremely special. Yeah. Extremely special. The audience are getting hyped, we're getting hyped, and it's about to be something that, I don't know, could be first, could, off, first to face off some skills that we're about to see. Yeah, it could be. It's going to be a battle of epic dimensions, I think. Absolutely. We've already seen some face-off firsts here. We've seen some quads. We've seen some exceptional, exceptional talent from the guys. Everybody is still in the mix. Mm. I, I'm still... I'm putting my money on Rasmus now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you it, but you it's called hard. it at the beginning. You called it at the beginning. Mm, yeah. Although, Ethan, Ethan he's with still, that he's back still tumbling. He had a really Connor. good start, and he looks so much better. And Connor, he was a big surprise this time. Connor, Connor has shown us right, exactly why he should be up there with those uh, those top athletes mm -hmm. and maybe some of those bigger names, and exactly why he was champion of face-off back in Sweden. We are putting together the equipment behind us. They're setting up the final piece of apparatus for us, making sure that all the safety checks are good and we are ready to start. And as soon as those athletes are all lined up and ready to go, we're going to be moving into our final round, the double trouble. I can't wait. Everybody's so welcoming and it's just great to train alongside so many big flips. It's just a great environment. Probably the, the inventive stuff that Yeppe is going to be showing us. I've, I've heard some rumours, it should be exciting. Hey Yeppe. Hi. How are you with Connor? He says he loves the most to see your tricks. I love the most to see his tricks. But I've never met you until yesterday because I've been following Connor on Instagram and we're like the same age and we've been doing the same thing for so long. So I feel like I know him, but I've never met him before. Great guy though. <laughs> I sense a slight romance going on. Oh, of course. We're the only two team gym boys here, so uh, we've got to stick together. <laughs> I'm ready. I feel ready. For so, so straight transition to quad back. Oh, yeah, but there are some high triples. High triples? Yeah. What kind of position? Uh, it's a bit Definitely some triples. Twisting? Maybe some twisting triples. We'll yeah. see. I'm the first French face-off. First French athlete? Yeah. We're happy to be here. It's a really good experience. And just crazy flips. <laughs> What's the secret behind this line? Uh, the secret is that line is uh, actually where I don't start from and they'll put everyone off a little bit. No, I just do my round off from that line. <laughs> we were at that training session that you just saw videos of and it is showing you what Face Off is about. Not only the competition, but also the camaraderie that these athletes have got together. They're sticking together, they're pushing themselves. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. We're going to swing back to Lessa in the arena to introduce the next round.
So, face off, we're moving on into the final stage of our travel into epicness. The next discipline, we've seen it before, we know to expect, or do we? As you saw a few glimpses of in the video, I guess it's fair to say that you can expect the unexpected in this discipline. The math about the discipline is pretty simple, if you ask me. You add a 20 meter pro track, then in the end, you add a double mini trampoline, and that equals fire. Now, we're gonna go for 10 minutes for the male athletes, eight minutes for the female athletes, and it's the two best tricks that are gonna count. Now, I gotta remind you guys that this is the last and final discipline of face-off individuals 2023, which means that after this discipline, we're gonna have a winner of face-off individuals 2023. I got a video for you guys, take a look. Energy is electric inside the Horsens Forum right now because in eight minutes, we're gonna know who is the female champion of Face Off. This is really is make or break it. Is Amelia gonna be able to hold it? Is she gonna have some contenders? What do you think, Elia? I don't know. Um, a lot of things can uh, can happen here. Absolutely. A lot of mistakes, uh, but also I'm pretty sure that we get the chance to see a lot of big tricks here. Here we go. No waiting more. Let's see it. We're back to a double tuck. Uh, Keeping it safe to start with. So as safe you, start. As you heard on that uh, introduction from Lasse in the arena, we have eight minutes. The athletes can go as many times as they want in that eight minutes with the best two scores counting. So maybe some of them are using those first wow. turns as a little bit of a warm up. That was a warm up. That was gorgeous. <laughs> that was beautiful. Lovely height. Excellent execution. Victoria for her first pass. We're back into the double tuck. Nice high double tuck, but again. Getting ready for another flip. I think that might be, as I said, using that little bit as a warm up to start with. As they've got a few goes, they're going to be able to uh, show us what they've got in this time limit. Whip entry, nice double layout. And the judges want to see some more difficulty. They want to see more than a double layout. This is the final of face-off. We need to be seeing these big tricks, ladies. And, and here there we go. Triple. triple tap from Amelia, showing us why she is the leader of the championship right now. 16-year-old from Great Britain. Very high. Look at that. Control. She's got a lot in her. Very clean double pike. Nice. Very, very clean, good technique, but after that triple, it's tough to beat. Alster. Gorgeous Miller. Miller. Gorgeous Miller took it up very, very high. Yeah. Maybe she's gonna add another one next time? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Who knows? Anything could happen here. Ball. Anything could happen here at Face Off. Excellent control, good landing. That was a class act, don't you agree? Nicely done, yeah. Beautiful body position. And here, whoa! Nice. nice! These ladies are flying with these Millers. Yeah. Let, are we gonna see one landing on their feet? Now that's the question. Judges liked it, they're really Im impressed with these big skills. And goes oh. for the position, but she kind of made We went up the pike and we yeah. changed our mind there. Yeah. The, the judge is still uh, rewarding that uh, that difficulty that she went for it here, because yeah. that's what we want to see, that, that risk. And we've got five minutes remaining of the competition. Very clean double layout. 
Alsa has been exceptional in this double trouble. What has she got now? Triple! The triple! What a shame about the landing. You saw the takeoff for the triple yeah. just went a little bit back with her shoulders. She wasn't able to get into that nice tight tuck that we saw from the other girls. It made it a little bit difficult for her to land that there. Three triples though. This is a real a final that we it is hotting up. Detroit Tums is doing triple oh, triple. Hey! Wow, the first that one. That was the beautiful. Yeah. Judges liking that difficulty, rewarding, rewarding that level of execution as well. Oh, the first athlete to do something from the air yeah. track onto the double mini. She went for the risk. It did not pay off today. No, unfortunately. And here we go. Triple there pike. we go, triple pike. She showed us it's in there. I can do it. Very, very high triple pike. Flex speed, I would have liked a little bit more of a toe point on that, but that's me. Alistair really has that next level in execution, which I think the judges are really enjoying today. Uh, not quite. She went again for that triple tuck. Again, same problem. She's not able to get into that tight tuck shape to give her the rotation to be able to land nice and clean that we saw from the other athletes. All right, we are getting through now into our final rounds. It's getting very exciting. Victoria has been doing excellent on Double Trouble, really coming in strong in this final discipline. For Twitsy Triple! Oh, it's going to be yeah, interesting to see what the judges do yeah, here because be that was opinion. low. We had some low scores there. That was exceptionally yeah. difficult. It's the first yeah. full twisting triple back that we have seen. However, it was not done at the level that we would like to see here at Face Off. There we go. Second time lucky. What a combination. The judges enjoyed that creativity. Look at that from the air map. Beautiful. Amelia. Oh! oh! That was triple with the full twist. With half the half in, twist. Triple half out. Front, half out. The we judges. Oh, they did not expect to no. see that. No, that is either. pretty. <laughs> and we've got approximately two minutes remaining of the cut. So the athletes are allowed to pass or go. They just yeah. have to indicate to the judges. That's what happened just there. We move on to the next athlete. And here. Oh! Time. There we go. She got that takeoff this time, which gave her the height to be able to pull that triple tuck nicely. Under rotated before, over rotated a little bit this time. We're passing on this go. We are getting into our final seconds of this round now. How many more athletes are we going to be able to see on the double trouble? Josefina, last go in face of 2023. Yep. Oh! Yeah. She did go for it. That was unique to say the least. Unfortunately, it did not land as expected, but that was complex. Amelia, final go. Oh! oh! This time it looked a little that bit better. Much better. Yeah. Much better. I think the judges are going to like that one. Yeah. Nine. Nines, nines, eights. That is exceptional level from the youngster who has really shown us. This championship, she is going to be a face-off athlete for a long, long time, I think. Alistair. Triple pike. 45. Oh, 45 seconds left. We're pulling that triple pike. We needed to get a little bit deeper to make sure we got round onto those feet there. A little bit too deep on that landing. Some of the judges feeling that was a little That's bit unsafe. Beautiful. We're not happy with that. Here we go. Squeezing in those final goes. We've seen athletes sit out now, so we're getting some extra goes from some of these other athletes. Oh, we're getting tired. Yeah. This eight minutes suddenly feels very long. Very long it indeed. It sure is a long time just to keep going in. Yeah. 
zeros on this one. Amelia, again, you can see she's breathing heavily. Let's see what she's got in store for us. Double back. Wow. Into the treble. Wow. What on earth did yeah. we just see? Oh, if that had landed, that would have been insane. What a final round for us there. There were some exceptional yeah. skills from these ladies. They showed us why they are here at this final. Wow. That was a surprise. I had not seen that one coming. I was not expecting to see. Yeah. Triple. Here's our champion, Amelia Cabignon from Great Britain. The youngest female showing us she is face-off 2023. Wow. The audience are on their feet. She really showed us consistency all the way through the afternoon. Look at that medal, look at that trophy. You can see what this means to her. All the athletes did exceptionally well, working well together. First, second, and third, getting that prize money, which I'm sure they're excited about, hell yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. And she really is one to watch for in the future. The audience in here really are on fire. They loved that final. We saw triple tucks, triple pikes, half in, triple front, half out. That's a full twisting triple back. These ladies are taking it to the next level. They should be so proud of what they did today. They gave this audience a show and showed us exactly what we wanted to see. I loved that final double yeah. trouble. We I'm warned you it was going to be beyond special. Beyond speechless. I mean, that was amazing. A triple twist or a full twisting treble back. Oh, with, insane. I mean, half out or half in, half out. That was amazing. You think that was impressive? Yeah. We've got the men coming up next. You saw how high the ladies were going. You saw the skills they were doing. Now it's time for the men's category. After this, it is 10 minutes long this time. After 10 minutes, we will have our face-off 2023 champion. Beautiful high triple top. Very, very clean, starting easy. Ooh, he was teasing us. I think he might be going for four. I think yeah. that was his warm-up. I think so too. Will Cohen. Wow. Nice. Triple. There's room for at least one twist. That was definitely his open. I think we're going to see triple layout. I think yeah. we're going to see some and twisting the triple layouts. They want to see something bigger. Like we said, I think this is a game of strategy some of these yeah. guys are playing. They're using these first turns to warm up. Double layout on Find the mid-frame. Nice. Nice. Nice landing. You never know what you're going to get from Yepe. You, nope. you can't predict oh, it. Unpredictable. <laughs> Tofik Aliyev. Oh, oh he's straight out the game. Quad, quad. No warm up for Tofik. Yeah. Quad salto. Four somersaults. You saw the height and a tight tuck. He span. Ethan. Oh, back full, full in a layout position. You saw now, we, we saw that earlier, but he saw that very, very clean. Very, very clean. Very clean. Very clean. That's it's the best I've seen him do it, I think. Came a little bit to the, close to the edge, though, but... Still no, the, ju the judges are going to like that one. Exactly. Here. Double layout now. Ooh. So that's the first double somersault that we saw coming from the air mat onto the double mini. I think there's going to be something special in that later. Oh, triple, triple. Into a double, double with a half twist. Half foul. He touched yeah. the equipment. What will He's the judges do here? He's planning on something huge. 
That was just his fast first pass, Helia. I'm I'm ready and waiting for what he's got in the yep. bag for this. Ten minutes. We're only just getting started. Whoa! Whoa! The young boy Whoa! from France giving us quad back from double trouble. He is having a good time. The judges feeling that was a little bit low. Here we go, Will Cohen. Back full, full turn. Very nice, very nice. Plenty of very for clean, another one. Very clean, giving excellent height. That looked easy. That looked easy. Yeah, because the Norwegian cat. Half out turn into triple back turn. Half out from that air mat, that is not easy to then come in at the correct angle to be able to do that triple back dismount. So That's complex. Impressive. We've got seven what do you do after remaining. quad back? Yeah, Coping. I don't know. Another one. Oh, this one even better that is oh, what more can we ask for, guys? Come on, judges. Nines and tens. That was. Beautiful. That is how we do a quad back, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that landing. He's even opening up before. Ethan McGinnis, double, double layout. layout. Wow, wow. double oh. twisting triple. That is pretty. Nines and tens from the judges. This double trouble is becoming one of the greatest we have seen at face off. That is five rotations he managed to do there in those two. <laughs> five rotations, two. Wow. Oh! Connor. Connor is in the mix. Beautiful Double form. layout, triple layout. These guys are taking this. Up the back, triple back. And triple back. Oh! And triple, triple. <laughs> triple, triple. I just can't comprehend how he's capable of continuing. Six somersaults in yeah. two skills. And the transition looked a little bit off. But he managed to pull yeah. it. I mean, that is exceptional. The strength he must have. Back, full, back. Lost a little bit of rotation there as he came out of that second somersault. Hippo really doing well though. The young competitor has got a lot more in him. Wow. Very clean triple layout. Very, very so clean. So impressive. So clean. Will Cohen has such a nice style about him. He's very elegant in the air. Double tuck. Oh. Inward! Oh. <laughs> Into a full twisting double front. Into a double front, <laughs> full twist out at the end there. Really surprising us, showing us that anything is possible. Tofik is Go done big. for today. Here we go, Ethan. What do you have left in the tank? Double layouts. Back wow. full straight. Oh. <laughs> that is excellent, excellent on the double trouble there. The level is just going up and up and up today. I don't know what we're gonna be seeing next. Connor going forward this time into a triple out. Nice, showing us something different there. Forward there. Excellent. Look at that. Handspring mount onto that double mini. Something we haven't seen yet in the competition. That's what the judges want to see. Uniqueness, creativity, showing us something different with that high level. The local hero, Rasmus Beck. Double layout. Into the full twist and triple back. Oh, a little close there on that. Onto the double mini there. We've got three minutes remaining.
Ippo is getting ready for his next run. Triple pike, nicely done. Very clean, little over rotation there. The time is going down now. It's looking like these athletes are really trying to squeeze in every last turn they can to get those scores. Very nice. Oh, just tucked those legs in a little at the end, but that was so beautiful in the air. We currently are tied for the win. Rasmus Beck, what is he gonna do coming into this? Yep, here we go. Full twisting triple, ooh. Yep. Right now, we are really, really tight at the leader and up there at the top. We might even have the potential for sudden death in double trouble. Ooh, a nice squad once again. Kofik is enjoying showing us that quad. It's over. This is his signature skill. That is what he wants to show us, and he does it so well. We have one minute and 30 seconds left. What have we got in these final rounds? Ethan hyping up the audience, hyping up the crowd. Is he gonna show us something we have not seen before? Everybody is on their feet in this arena. This uh, event oh. has never been so close before. These athletes are neck and neck fighting for this championship. This has proven to be the best face-off final in the eight face-off events that have happened. Connor, show us what you're made of. Stick into his run. Oh, Missed and showing it. how difficult that handspring entry is. Slightly, in, slightly off, and he loses those legs, not being able to deliver. So he's gonna have to have something big for us now. He's gonna show us. Is he gonna be the champion? Double A out. Ooh. Oh no! Missed it. We are so tight up there at the leaderboard. That could be that the difference between winning. Last round. I have no idea what. No. It is so tight. The boys are getting every last turn they can, showing this audience what they are made of, why they are on this stage right now. The timer is out. That was exceptional, Will. Except he liked that, didn't he? Okay. We are neck and neck. Rasmus and Ethan are tied at the moment at the top of the leaderboard. We need a champion in this round. The timer is out. One more pass each. Who is going to take the championship? That was very unique. It doesn't get more exciting than that. It is all to play for in this final round. Yepe, you gave a great show today. You should be very proud of what you did. Tofik, all the way from Azerbaijan. He has done exceptional flying the flag for his teammate Malkin, who was unfortunately unable to perform today. Ooh, oh, quad so close! He went for the big skill. We are taking this now to the scoreboard and we are gonna show you exactly why we are so excited in this arena. We are neck and neck, 68.2. 68.2 at the top. It is all in this final round. Can you believe it? No, such huge numbers and still they're tight. I mean. After the, all of the excitement today, the arena is behind them. Connor, not far beneath. It is all about now. All right, but I told you before, Ethan is hungry. Double A out. Whoa! What a finish! That was a class act. He thinks.
thinks he's got the championships. Yeah. He thinks he's going to be the winner today. Talk about putting pressure on Rasmus back. Connor. The pressure couldn't be any bigger. Connor, he's not far behind them. What can he do? What can he show? I don't think he's going to be able to get up there and beat. Oh, but we shouldn't forget about him. He has shown himself to be a true face-off athlete. Here we go. Final pass. some exceptional acrobatics today. Stuff we've not seen before. Now, the arena is on their feet. If he gets more than seven points, he is gonna be our face-off champion. Are you ready? All right, off the big double layout. And he hits it. Whoa! What just happened? Yeah, huge amount of pressure before the last go. Wow. He really showed us what he is made of. That full, full, full front double layout. He didn't play it safe. He went for it. Nines across the board. It's not official yet. It's not official yet. It's not official yet, but you know what? I think he's got it. He's definitely got yeah. it. But Ethan looked Let's pretty wait. comfortable before, but... Wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh. The scoreboard came up there, but there was something interesting on there. We are checking the scoreboard, because there was an interesting score there on the, on the final one. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait. The audience here cannot control themselves. You guys at home must be as excited as we are stood here in the arena. I'm sure you can feel the energy from where you are behind your computer screens. This has really lived up to every expectation that anyone had for this championship. The individual competition has been unbelievable. Here we go. We are waiting to hear what the final, official results are for Face Off 2023. It's going to be announced in the arena to everybody to hear. Is it going to be Ethan? Is it going to be Rasmus? It was a close final. The boys are excited as we are. I think we know. Yeah, the pressure on Rasmus Beck before his last go was as big as possible. It was and insane. He didn't, make, he didn't make a big mistake before. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. And he, he showed that he did go big. Back. He went big. Yeah, absolutely. That final pass, he did not hold back. He showed us the biggest trick that he had and showed us why he deserved that. Face of champion 2023 title. Bringing back the trophy, the Look at that. trophy. Look what that means to him. All that training, yeah, all that all effort. the training, it paid off. It showed. It really showed, especially in those really space-off specific disciplines, like the plateau, yeah. where he really showed control, how he worked on that apparatus and better he, than anyone else. He's been having such a professional approach to this sport. Absolutely. He's, he's been doing so many different preparations. But also this guy, Ethan McGuinness, coming up here after this really busy schedule. Uh, Absolutely. That he had staying in Europe after the world. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, really great performance from him too. All of the guys out there should be so proud to have been part of what I could say is probably the most exciting face-off final that has happened. The boys out there working together, Look at that. That must have been tiring for them. <laughs> yeah. They were doing some big gymnastics but there. Actually, Rasmus is not even done for today. 
he's got the team event. Yep. So as the arena is calming down, we're going to just do a little bit of a recap on what we just saw here in Horses Denmark. First of all, in the women's section, we have Amelia Campignon. She really outshone her competitors She is today. a rising star. She really is. Yeah. She's only 16 years old. She, from what I've heard is she has been doing team gym, double mini tramp, and now she's going to start doing power tumbling as well. Her talent is endless. Yeah, endless talent. Um endless versatility um i think the she's, thing that she's just so capable of um adapting to adapting to uh, all the different kinds of equipment that we've got here absolutely yeah. Yeah. for me it was her spatial really awareness in the women's section she yeah. seemed very very aware of her body in the air yeah. how to control herself and well we saw that with some of the huge skills that and she still did. she was able to remain calm through the whole process absolutely so, yeah at such a young age it's such crazy. a great job we are just waiting for our we are just waiting for our uh, our face off champions to come up and join us in the booth but before they do that let's have a quick chat about Rasmus Beck the one yeah. and only Rasmus yeah. Beck like we said all that training all that hard work to come back and work hard to be able to win this championship again is really this very year? special Amelia thank you for joining us here we go we're going to set you up congratulations thank you how are you doing? Let's just put this here. Perfect. How are you doing? Yeah, I feel so good. So yeah? happy. Yeah. Exhausted? <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy competition, honestly. So tell us, what was going through your head when you were going into that final pass, into that half in trip? Yeah. Like, insane. Oh, I was so nervous, but um, yeah, I just really enjoy like trying the like hardest tricks possible and yeah it just felt really good so for us that's a face-off first i believe i don't oh, think that's it? been uh, it's been done by a female yeah, I, I, that definitely is the first you took time, us yeah. by surprise yeah. so congratulations on that you should be very very proud what was your favorite moment of the whole event um probably yeah like doing those uh the last skills in the double travel like yeah. the half in trip um yeah it definitely felt really good yeah you should be super proud so hang on one second i'm just gonna be right back we have an extra special oh, Cirque du Soleil wow. sweatshirt for our winner. <laughs> Thank you very we much. Are, from what we saw from you, you really epitomize Face Off yeah. and the energy, playing with the yeah. audience, being a performer, exceptional talent. So if you've got anything to say to, to our audience back home on the live stream, now uh, is your chance. I think all the girls, you guys all need to start um, doing more gymnastics like it shows like all the girls here like they're all like amazing and it's just like it's such a cool thing to do like I think we really want to try and grow like face off like with the girls um, especially like getting more people involved it would just be like amazing so if you're a gymnast out there and you think doing face off would be fun train hard and I think but like I have yeah. to ask how did you prepare for this event um, well I do team gym so I'm used to the tramp the lottery um, and the um, air track, I normally train on fiber, but um, it kind of is quite similar. Um, we got two days of training before this, so like just to get used to it then. Um, but we also, in my club, we put in the double trouble for a couple of sessions. So. Oh, really? Oh, excellent. Yeah. So yeah, I could, awesome. could get used to it before. But, yeah. Cool. Well, congratulations. Thank we you love very watching much. you. Thank you for being such an amazing performer. Thank you. Um, we're going to bring in Erasmus, who is just over here, so yeah. they'll take yep. that off. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Erasmus. We've got our men's champion here, Rasmus Beck. Here we are. Congratulations. How's it going? Thank you. It's so great. Congratulations on your on your face-off win. That was pretty special. Thank you. Tell us exactly what went through your head going into that final final double trouble. Did you know how close it was between you guys? Uh, no, because I thought the the score. Uh, system was the same as last year. Oh. I thought we were going with the eight, six, four, and zero. So when I thought it was all combined together, yep. I was like, oh. okay, I didn't think I was <laughs> at the first place going to the finals. Yeah. Oh, so maybe that uh, helped. Maybe that made you be more yeah, relaxed yeah. then. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but uh, I haven't uh, experienced a more nerve-wracking uh, final mm. than this one. Awesome. Cool. So we have another one, a Cirque du Soleil sweatshirt for you to Thank say you. congratulations from us at Cirque du Soleil, one of the Thank partners so here much. at Face Off. We loved watching you perform again. So it's awesome. Rasmus won last time I was here in 2019. Yeah. And you just showed your real, real talent for, for, for competing at this competition. Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to say to every, all the live streamers watching at home? Uh, what have you got to say into the camera? Hope you enjoyed it.
And uh, remember to buy tickets to Boxen i Herning next year. It's gonna be yeah. legit. <laughs> yep. Yep. It is indeed. That's there we another go. Another stage. Yep. But Rasmus, we, Charlie and I, we talked a little bit about how you um, took face-off gymnastics to sort of like a professional level. Yeah. While you were doing your master's thesis, right? Yeah. And then you went to the gym every every morning doing yeah. sessions by yourself, yeah. whip bags to triple bags. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your preparations before this event? Well, I uh, contact, contacted one of my friends called Benjamin, who has a personal training uh, company called uh, SFG, and asked him if he would do a collaboration with me mm -hmm. for doing the strength training, and then I could focus on my master thesis and uh, just doing gymnastics and training. Um, so he did that, and uh, then I borrowed a key to a local gym, and then I just use it as a break from writing my thesis. Um, but I can tell you the first week and a half was totally not fun because I went to the gym, did 10 rounds of uh, whip flick triple directly to my face and <laughs> then drove back home. Mm. So, uh, well, look how far we've come. Yeah. You yeah. could definitely see the, the strength training aspects yeah. going into yeah. this and the endurance that you were able to sustain throughout the competition. You looked definitely very, very strong. Thank you. Not only in the air, but in your body, in your physique, and the power, and all the way to the end of that final full, full, full. It yeah. was very, yeah, very special. It was special. amazing. And it was nice to feel that again because I, I don't think I have felt that feeling. Uh, in the last four years since 2019. That's amazing. No. Yeah, so uh, it was very nice. Yeah. Well, we're going to let you go because you've got to get you. ready for the crew event later. Yeah. What's the crew? Yeah. Absolutely, guys. Yeah. So thank you yeah. so much. Get some rest we'll, um, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Great. Perfect. Thank you. So everybody else back home, well, we're going to have a break. We're going to be coming back again at 3.30 for the crew event. We'll start off with some interviews with some very well-known figures in the team jam and tumbling world so don't miss that and then the event will be starting at four o'clock anything to finish off with hell yeah it was an amazing amazing first session uh, so many big surprises so many good skills it was just amazing and i just can't wait to uh, to get started with the crew competition later if what we just saw there was as exciting as it was, I cannot wait to see what has happened when we have the full teams out here. Four teams battling it out to see who is going to be Face Off Champions 2023. Do not miss out. We'll see you guys soon.